with me. Come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, is it lands both hot and cold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, blast galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi. Have you ever dreamed of finding a great treasure? Well, I have a story about someone who did. A poor woodcutter named Ali Baba. One day, Ali Baba was cutting wood in the forest when suddenly he got the fright of his life. Oh, open sesame. Shut sesame. He was so frightened, he didn't dare come down until the fierce-looking men had left their hideout. Then... Open Sesame! This can't all be theirs. They must be thieves. Poor Ali Baba couldn't resist taking some of the gold. And when he showed it to his wife... I'll go and borrow a measure from your brother's wife, so we'll know how much we have. Ali Baba's brother, Kasim, was very rich, but he was also very greedy and never gave anything to Ali Baba and his family. They're as poor as we are rich. What have they got that needs measuring? Hmm, we'll soon find out. All unsuspecting, Ali and his wife measured their newfound wealth. But when they returned the scale... Aha! Look at this! Your brother Ali Baba borrowed our measure to count gold. Solid gold! I must find out where they got it. The next day, Kasim followed Ali Baba to the magic cave. Open sesame! Shut sesame! <laughs> this is too easy. Open sesame! Shut sesame! richer than I ever dreamed I'd be. Rich, rich, rich! Open, or, uh, open, open, uh, open! What was that word? Open sesame. No, no, no! Oh, Ali! I told Kasim your secret, and now he has disappeared. Help me. Immediately, Ali Baba went to the cave and found his brother's body. It was not a moment too soon. So the cave is open. Someone else knows our secret. But who? It wasn't difficult for the leader of the thieves to find out who it was that knew their secret. The talk about Ali Kasim and his brother Ali Baba was everywhere. The thieves made a plan of attack. We can't all ride up to Ali Baba's house without arousing suspicion. So I will disguise myself as an oil merchant. And the 39 of you will hide inside the oil jars. The 40th jar will be filled with real oil so that I can fool Ali Baba into thinking I'm an honest merchant. <laughs> that money can buy. I'll take all 40 jars, and you must dine with us. I'll go and tell my wife that we have a bountiful guest. I'll join you in a moment. As soon as I give the signal, rush out and attack them. No more oil. I'll get some from the new jar. Is it time? Is it time? So that's their game. The brave woman then proceeded to do the deed which saved the lives of all of her family. Now my wife wishes to dance for you. And since she dances very well, I will allow it. A uh, most charming hostess. He would have killed us. If that 
supposed to be a signal for your men. It will do you no good. My men, where are they? Gone, into the night. When the leader of the thieves realized he was alone and trapped, he became frightened. Please spare my life, and I promise you'll never see me again. They let the villain go, and he disappeared and was never seen by anyone again. So don't forget, if like Kasim you ever get trapped in a magic cave, remember the words that open the door and say, Open! Open, uh... Oh, what was that word?